Well, the video that I'm uploading right now is a um, iPhone capture from a live stream that I did earlier today. Actually, my very first live stream. So I gave it to you in its entirety, unedited, um, as one of my viewers said, warts and all. And um, I'm going to do another um, live stream. It was fun, even though I was talking only to myself. Um, but it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed uh, kind of working on the technology. So. The video you are about to see is my very first live stream, which I accidentally deleted because I didn't understand all the buttons. That's part of the fun of learning. Good thing I recorded it on my iPhone. All right, thanks for watching. All right, well, greetings from Mountain View Ranch. I'm not sure how many people we're gonna have on this live stream, but kind of an experiment. And if you're tuning in, welcome. So I'm coming to you live from Mountain View Ranch, and um, we don't have a lot of internet capability out here, so I'm using an iPad and streaming on an iPad, so we'll see how that turns out. This may be a short live stream if we have no, nobody tune in, which is totally okay. I'm more interested in just learning the um, the technology and to verify that I'm capable of doing it. And so far it looks like it is working okay. I am also filming this on my iPhone right next to the iPad so that I can perhaps make a little YouTube video with that as well. So behind me you see the inside of our pole barn that we've been working on. Um, it's definitely been a work of love and a uh, kind of a long project, but it's coming along. We are out here um, right now, early March, uh, sort of middle March, I guess, but um, it's still a little bit cool, still a little bit winter weather. We had hail yesterday um, and it's been quite windy and rain, but we've also had some really, really nice periods of warm weather and we're hoping to uh, finish up the trim work, not very much. We have a short pickup list and then uh, priming, caulking, and then painting. We have a block of time, perhaps about seven to nine days. And if the weather holds out, hopefully we'll get some paint on the barn. All right, well, this is my first uh, YouTube live stream and I honestly I'm not expecting a lot of people to tune in uh, I'm a very small channel but I just wanted to give the uh, the mode a, um, a a go I've been watching um, a number of live streams on YouTube and I just find them fascinating I, I particularly like the interaction with the audience uh, it's much more dynamic and fast and I thought it would be kind of interesting to give that a shot from Mountain View Ranch, but also just to see if I could muster the technical difficulties of doing a live stream without a lot of uh, internet capability. So right now we're doing this completely mobile um, off an iPad and uh, we'll see how it, how it works out. All right, well, I think it's gonna be a very, <laughs> It's going to be a very short live stream, which is, which is a okay. Um, hey, listen, if you if you, um, I, th I think I will go ahead and post this as a uh, as a video to the channel. Thought it would be interesting. If you see this afterwards, let me know a couple of things. One, do you like uh, live streaming on YouTube? Is it something that you participate in? Do you find it interesting? Do you find it enjoyable? And then if you're uh, a follower of my channel, uh, first of all, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Let me know if it's something that you would like to see from this channel. Would you like to see live streaming from my channel? And if you would, I will certainly do everything I can in the future to accommodate that. But also, I would really like to hear what channels do you listen to that are live streaming? What live streams have caught your interest and do you look forward to? So uh, leave that in the comments below. It's always kind of interesting to see what people are watching and what interests them and sort of what tickles your, your fancy. 
Well, I, I kind of thought if I did have anybody uh, tune in, uh, I might be answering some questions about the barn, about our property, um, perhaps where we're at with the project and what we're looking to do in the future. And I can certainly do that in future uh, videos. Right now, obviously we want to get this barn uh, completed. We want to get um, the interior done so that we can have a more efficient storage in here. Right now, we have just have been bringing things in and I've chewed up all my floor space. But as you can see behind me, I've got plenty of wall space and we will be able to store a lot of things in cabinets and shelves on the walls. You might see straight above me, uh, that line going right above that roll-up door behind me is an area that we will run a loft uh, side to side and end to end in the barn. I'm not sure if it's going to be an entire uh, floor loft or if we will um, leave it open in spaces because we do have in the roof above, we've got um, clear light uh, panels that allow sunlight to come in. And it's kind of nice during the day right now. It's, it's illuminated in the barn and it's a nice workspace. But I'm afraid that if I completely um, loft in that uh, space that I'll certainly will lose my daylight, which I don't want to do. It will for sure uh, make it much easier to heat the barn and make it warm, but um, come at a sacrifice of light. So we'll have to kind of play with that and see what we do. I'm going to just point out some things that I see in the background just to kind of explain things. Um, those red things right there, those go on my table saw. Those are um, in-feed and out-feed tables. You might have seen those if you follow my channel for a long time. Um, those uh, I've I had them set up in my shop in our old house. Right now they're on, sitting here in the barn and I'm hoping that this space right here will be my uh, wood shop and I'll get my table saw uh, set up in there and you can see my table saw right there. We've been using it the last couple of days to rip trim to uh, fit around the windows. We, got, we have our windows all uh, tuned in and everything looks good. Then right behind there, you'll see uh, some Tyvek um, hanging. I actually put that on all four windows. Those are my temporary uh, screens right now so that people can't look into the barn. But right underneath there, you'll see kind of a blue area right there. That's where my brother-in-law is staying right now um, on the property. And um, he's hunkered down there at nighttime and, and, and pretty warm. We've got some heaters that we use during the evening hours when we have uh, dinner in the barn. And then he likes to uh, turn all the lights off. He has a little reading lamp on the bill of his hat and he's a voracious reader and he'll read a couple hours and then uh, fall asleep. But uh, right now that's his space. We did at one time think that we were going to block that entire space in. So between those posts and then going backwards, um, block in that space and make it a, uh, a living quarters, which we still may do, but we might turn it into more of a little uh, bunkhouse. So there's uh, bunks in there if we have guests that are coming and staying on the property. But ultimately what we're going to do, I think this uh, summer, Beth has talked me into building a small, um, well, typical of these projects, a, a small bunkhouse that um, we can use for uh, for guests. Certainly when Oak comes to visit and he, honestly, I could not have built this barn without his help. Um, I look at all that stuff behind me and I can think of every day that we worked here hanging um, all of that material, just the two of us. Good times, no doubt but um, he'll have a much more comfortable place to stay when he comes. He is a, um, boy, he loves coming here. He, he's an outdoors person and um, he's got his little routine. First thing he does when he arrives here is tootle around in the Polaris, do a little land survey, kind of see how things are going. If there's 
been any changes since he's been here last and then he'll get his area set up and we just have a great time. So a um, lot of work to do as you can see and I've got a lot of uh, storage to work on but this summer I think we're going to be building one more structure before we build a house and that'll be a little bunkhouse so that we've got quarters for people to stay when they come and help us or if Beth and I just come by ourselves if we don't want to bring the camp out here we will um, we'll stay in that be uh, turnkey just open the door turn it turn on the uh, solar panels turn on the gas and you're good to go all right guys well I guess by YouTube uh, standards, my first um, my first live stream is a flop. Although I will say for me, it's not a flop. Um, I wanted to see how this works. I wanted to get a sense of the uh, technology and get a sense of uh, if it's something that I can incorporate in my channel. And granted, I've got a small channel and I honestly, I, I would have been surprised if one, one person uh, tuned in and, and, and watched, but um, I do think it's a fun aspect of uh, YouTube, and I've uh, been really enjoying scouting around uh, different channels and watching either uh, playbacks of live streams or um, if I catch one from a channel that I like to uh, plug in and participate in the chat. And it's a, it's a fun way to really engage the uh, YouTube community. So I've been enjoying that quite a bit. All right, what else can I say before I think I will sign off because we have nobody participating. Um, more videos coming up uh, this summer. We're gonna be finishing up the barn uh, and then starting some projects here. I might stream some, well, I won't stream anymore, I think. I don't know. I will be making some videos from our progress here while we were working uh, this week. I was gonna get um, Beth and Oak on this live stream, but um, I don't think they'll like to participate. <laughs> There's nobody watching, so we'll see. All right, guys. Well, um, this was fun. It's my first live stream, and honestly, I was not expecting a lot, but uh, if you're catching this in the reruns, don't laugh. <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up if you can. Hey, listen, if you, um, if you stumbled on this and you made it this far um, in this uh, first live stream and uh, you found anything interesting or you scouted around my channel and found a video or two that struck your fancy, uh, please consider subscribing. Please consider leaving a thumbs up. Leaving a comment is great. And you can really, really help my channel if you subscribe and, um, and certainly share these videos and my channel with your family and friends. And of course, the longer you watch a video, the more watch time I get and uh, the more successful this channel is on YouTube and the more content I will make. All right, guys, I am going to um, end this awesome, unsuccessful um, live stream. And I, I probably will do more of these. And certainly if you watch these in the, in the uh, uh, okay, that's fun about live streaming, isn't it? It's, uh, it's real. Um, if you watch this in a rerun and um, you think that you might like to have another live stream, let me know. Either uh, leave a comment or certainly message me on YouTube and uh, we'll try and make that happen. I also post on Instagram. Um, I love taking photos and sharing photos, so check out Instagram, USNERDoc on Instagram. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, well, I don't know how successful that was, but it was fun. Uh, I'm looking at the, um, the little, so this is the first time I played with this technology. I'm streaming uh, from an iPad that actually has, um, so it's one of the iPads that has 
uh, phone capabilities in it. And um, that actually is quite helpful when I'm traveling. But uh, that stream was 14 minutes, a little more than 14 minutes. And um, we had no, no participants, which is OK. Um, I don't know, it was fun. I'm going to probably do more of that just because I enjoy the process. What I did, what I did find fascinating is um, uh, you know, your mind will stop for a second as you're trying to think of what to say. And I wasn't anticipating that. So that was, that was pretty fun. But um, yeah, that was good. I'm going to go ahead and post that. And um, one, of my, uh, one of my viewers, I was uh, catching up on comments. And um, I took this as a compliment. But one of the things he said is one of the aspects that he enjoys about my channel is I post everything, warts and all. And, uh, and that's true. I, I, um, I, I could certainly cut and edit and make things look all nice and, and fancy. And uh, I try not to do that. If I make a mistake, I'll leave it in there. If I do something stupid, I'll leave it in there because I learned from that. And um, well, I enjoy the comments I get. So anyway, guys, take care and thanks for watching. All right, we're posting that epic fail. A lot of fun. All right. Take care from Mountain View Ranch.